it Emma. This is where I talk all about sewing, in particular dress making which is my passion with fabrics and patterns. If you haven't already subscribed please do consider subscribing. Um, I just want to say thank you to those who have subscribed and just joined my channel. It's lovely to have you and thank you for the continued support that you keep coming back every time I do a vlog which is a wee bit scattered at the moment but I hope to have a better April and going forward. Life just gets in the way and messes with your head but it's all okay, it's all okay and you may notice that there's been a change of location of doing videos because stupid Ramsey ladder. I phoned up the person, he is coming tomorrow, fingers crossed. Anyway, Edinburgh Fabrics went up on Friday. I needed some elastic because most of the makes that I've done lately, including a tester, all wanted elastic. And this person did not have enough, so had to had to go up um emergency fab um elastic stash buying. But to be honest, that's not the only thing that I walked out with. <laughs> Whoops! But I had this total bright idea. I was like, I've not done a shop tour of Edinburgh fabric yet, so I was like. Let's do this. Let's shop local and do a tour and support one of my favourite fabric shops. So, Edinburgh Fabrics was established in 1980. As far as I know, it's always been on the South Clark Street, which is pretty much central Edinburgh. It's a wee walk from Edinburgh Festival Theatre, so if you're looking for some musical or drama that's a place and place to go for that kind of thing especially ballet um, it hosts a lot of um, shows run by the Scottish Ballet Company um, which are amazing I um, used to go and watch the Scottish Ballet quite often with my mum um, I've not been since because it's still quite raw. So, Edinburgh Fabrics, as I was talking about, family business, lovely family as well. Um, I've known Saba, goodness, over 10 years. We met while we were working at um, a big chemist. Now, it began with B. So, and it's a UK company, like massive UK company, but it's B the chemist. There we go. Um, without giving too much away, but um, yeah, we met there, and our friendships just continued throughout the year. She made the way to Dubai for a good wee while, but she's moved back now. So, recently got together for a wee coffee and a cat ship. It was lovely. Sabah's lovely um, and her mum's amazing as well, mum's a, her mum's a seamstress, that's good to have because if you have a fabric shop you want to you wanna be able to sew up stuff but anyway the family's had this business since 1980 and it's definitely an established plot on South Clare Street in Edinburgh so if you're in if you're in town go and give it a Go and give it a shot because wow it's from floor to ceiling fabric it's amazing all sorts of fabric good selection of silks african waxes we've got a wee selection of craft cottons quilting cottons um we've got some wool um we've got woolen fabrics like moon Moon, moon, something, moonstone, moon, moon, moon fabrics. 
um, had a tweet as well. So the um, supporting the cottage industry, um, which is good to know. They've got some Yorkshire tweets as well. Um, lots of jerseys, including bamboo, cotton, some poly mixes. Um, yeah, and they've got this lovely sort of t-shirt weight cotton jersey. So I'm probably going to go and get some of that when I've got some pennies. Um, yes, so as well as what I've just mentioned, I've got an amazing, amazing haberdashery. Um, they've got a good extensive prim range. They've got some hemline products, brilliant Waikiki zips and lovely buttons as well as trimmings lots and lots of trimmings oh my goodness so yes so we're gonna start outside the shop and uh yeah you'll see it i'm just gonna pop some music on so you can mosey around i don't go too fast i don't do go too slow it's a nice little walk down the shop get the dress it's floor to ceiling full of stuff but it's tidy and that's what i like in a fabric shop i'm not really one to go rooting around in the boxes <laughs> but i'll leave you me and uh, yeah i'll see you at the end of the show.
first off, elastic. So I bought two thick elastic. Now I think this is one, two, this must have been about 2.8 um, centimetres wide elastic. And I got maybe about four or five centimetres wide. This is too wide for the project currently, but yeah, um, I'm going to use it. I got um, this the same sizes in both black and white. Um, I wasn't quite sure. I should have checked and measured, but I just grabbed them. I was like, mm, I'm going to need them. <laughs> so yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go out and get more black just to top it up. I went through quite a lot of black so I'll probably do black and white of this again the other thing I saw like this is £3.60 is coat hanger hooks so you can put that on in the inside of your coats and it's a wee hook I thought that's actually quite nice and it comes in three different colours You've got a maroon brown, navy and a sort of a tan brown. I don't think you can see it. I thought that was quite cool. So I've got that. And of course, I've been using a lot of safety pins and I keep mishapping them. So I've got this set here. They're not the biggest and they're not the smallest. I just thought they might be quite good for pulling elastic through channels now the fabric of course i would leave this to the end the best bit this now emma coffee glass slippers coffee and glass slippers uh-huh remember this fabric me and emma met in november um last year and we went to Edinburgh Fabrics because she was like, I'm coming through to Edinburgh. We'll go to Edinburgh Fabrics. I said, brilliant. Okay, so we met, I think, we went to Brew Lab Coffee for a coffee and a chat. And then we went to Edinburgh Fabrics. It was a lovely, it was a lovely afternoon. But I had to dash back because I had dog walking duties, of course. <laughs> but I bought this. There we go again. Go and chat about stuff. But hey, this is a lovely cotton jersey. Now Emma spotted this and I was like, that is stunning. So since November, December, November, December, so that's one month. January, two months, February, three months, four months. I thought about this on and off and I've only just cracked at the end of March beginning of April so that's good going and it was still there it's beautiful it's got this lovely navy background with lots of pink blush flowers on it and it's so soft it's a cotton jersey so I was thinking maybe another Adrian blouse I mean don't break it if it's not broken if it's not broken, yeah, how, how does it go? Help! So, yeah, that is Edinburgh Fabric. Lovely family business, um, a lovely fabric shop, lots to choose from. Yeah, give it a bash if you're in town. And if you're visiting Edinburgh from somewhere near or far, it doesn't matter where you are, Give me a shout. So I'll see if I can uh, meet up with you. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed yourself on this wee tour of Edinburgh Fabrics. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Give this video a lovely little like. And uh, yeah, I'll see you very shortly for another vlog. Take care. Have fun. Bye.